How are we live? How are we live? We are live. Thank you very much, Lottie. Good morning, everybody. How are we today? It is Wednesday. Um, today is Earth Day. Uh, we're having a little eco week at Plush Addict. Um, so you may wonder why I've got this new array of hemline gold um, haberdashery, apart from it being rather stylish, and why we're talking about this on Earth Day. Now, we are super excited um, that Hemline have um, stepped up and they, and they have made a conscious effort to um, reduce all single-use um, plastic with this particular range. So we're, we're very exciting, as well as it being rather pretty and in this black and gold colour. And try not, just not to sing Spandau Ballet, but it's been really, really difficult to keep it in. Gold, gold. <laughs> anyway, my name's Kelly Rose. Um, I'm the founder of Plush Addict Sewing Superstore. Say hi if you're watching. Uh, love to hear from you. And if you're watching on the replay, just type a little replay in. If you've got any questions about anything that we're going to run through today, pop them in the uh, comments and we'll come back to you later. Um, we're going to publish the resources pages with links to all these things um, afterwards. So if you would like a, uh, that link, then just say me please and we will come back to you before the end of the day uh, with that link. Right, okay, so I'm going to start with something that's really, really, really rather exciting. Well, I think so anyway. It is this multi-use craft bag. Now, this is one of those things we're going to, it's got a zipper opening at the front and then it opens down and the rather fantastic thing about this is there's an ironing pad. So you can place your iron. Um, if you are sewing on the kitchen table or if you, um, you know, when we get to the point where we're traveling around a bit more and you're going to any sewing retreats or around to a friends for some sewing, um, this is a great little caddy for that. So you've got your, your ironing mat there. Here we've got a fantastic little mesh pockets. So in here you could pop your rotary cutter or your scissors and you can see through that there so um, you won't lose anything. And then we have got enough space for an A4 cutting mat in here, or this, which I will come on to in a second. But you've got some handy little compartments to keep your projects or your fabrics or your uh, any of your haberdashery in there. And also on the front, we've got so many pockets, all the pockets. So we've got a little slip pocket here and then a little zipper pocket there. So um, I, I'm definitely coveting one of these. Uh, if you are too, they're available on the website and this little bag is £36.99. Uh, the, the other handy thing, which I didn't mention, the handles, they are shoulder, shoulder bag handles. So you can throw it over your shoulder in a jaunty fashion um, and carry it around the house. But yeah, I thought it's great for travel, but also for, um, for those of you that haven't got your own craft area, um, you can keep all your bits and pieces in there, close it up and then pop it away to, so the kids can eat their tea on the dining room table. So this has been the most popular thing so far. Um, this is called the Quilters Multimat. It is a four in one. Um, so it opens up to uh, an A3 size. On one side, you've got a, um, a fully functional, um, albeit travel size, little rotary um, cutting mat. It's self-healing. It's got inches down one side, but also rather handily on one side, it's also got centimetres. So that's very, very handy. Um, and you've also got some um, angle marks on here as well. So all of these are great for your quilting projects. You've got a 45 degree mark there, and then you've also got a 60 degree there. So that's rather handy. The next thing for this one, it's got this um, kind of layer of, this is, I'm not gonna be able to, to notice this, but um, it's a very, very soft suede and it basically it's a little design little mini block design um, wall if you like that you can carry around in your bag so the fabric as you can see it sticks on there and we can put it right up there so it means that you can you can lay out your pieces get your color arrangements correct um, just, you know just use it if you improv quilting all that kind of thing so that's really really handy and that's 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 two uses so you've got your rotary cutter and then your design wall and this one here on the inside cover, this is actually um, sandpaper. Okay, and the reason, oh, I forgot to bring my pen. Um, the sandpaper is great, it's gonna hold your fabric as well, but what you use this for is when you are marking with a fabric marker, and it, it keeps it in place. You couldn't really do it on the soft fabric side of this because your, your marker would probably go through um, and not make a very neat line, but this is a nice um, flat surface, um, and it's great for marking. 
and then the final use the fourth use for this one is you flip it over and this side you can iron on so this is good it's great little travel ironing mats um heat resistant um and it's an a3 size so it's 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 a great little travel size so that's nice and handy so um let's just pop this one back check that i haven't missed anything yeah you can keep your pattern pieces inside there as well um and as you do your block designs you just fold it up pop it straight back in your bag right so the next thing we're going to talk about is the scissors now all of these these bits and pieces they come to us in these little um, brown paper bags so previously this kind of thing uh, would come to us in, in single-use plastic in cellophane so rotary cutters might come in packs of three or um, they might just even be single-use so it's fantastic that Hemline are taking the step um, to replace that single-use plastic with these recyclable paper bags um, and the tools that we've got we've got a pair of pinking shears um, which are fab lovely black and gold very stylish these are 20 centimeter um, dressmaking scissors I did have some fabric to cut and now I've lost it. Um, but they're great, they're really super sharp. And these are snips, little embroidery snips. I love these for like trimming curves or notches out of things. Great for snipping off the corners of your bag. So they are all available in this range. And then we have thread snips. So these are great if you've got um, arthritis or um, you haven't got much strength in your hands because they're spring loaded. So you can do a little snip for your thread. Um, these ones as well, I have been known to in the past, um, put a little ribbon round, pop them on, so you've always got them handy at your sewing machine, and then you can just take them out and snip them off. So I don't know about you, but I'm always losing my bits and pieces around my sewing machine, so it's great to have them around my neck. So that is very good. Um, look at these cutting mats. They are just lovely. I love the black, it's very striking. Um, on one side we've got inches, and this particular mat, um, they are thick. Let me just check my measurements. Doo, doo, doo. So I've got that you got in 60 by 45 centimeters, or the smaller is 45 by 30. So this is 17 inch by 23. And again, you've got all the markings. What I like about this one as well is if I can just draw your attention to this marking down the middle. Now, this is a two and a half inch. Mark, marking point so it's great for cutting binding so you've got the guidelines there and you've got various angles you've got a 60 a 30 a 90 and a 45 all marked on there so great for your quilting and then if you are doing um if you prefer to work in metric or perhaps you're a dressmaker that is, is using a cutting mat you've got the metric markings on this side um so it's a great great size great size so that's lovely and then there is also a brand new 24 inch quilt ruler. Um, I'm not sure how you're gonna see this with the, um, can you see it? You can, so it's, it's an inch ruler, um, does what it says on the tin. Um, and again, this is all arriving plastic free and you've got some different angle markings as well on here. You've got the 30, the 45 and the 60, so that's great. Now this rotary cutter has got a great little safety feature which I've not seen on any of the ones that we've stopped before. So you can lock them this is a 45 millimeter rotary cutter so you can lock it so you know that that isn't going to open and um, cut someone so you push that the other way but the great thing is when you're cutting you pull the trigger if that's the technical term and expose the blade but automatically as soon as you let go it springs back so it protects the blades now I think that's super super handy especially if you've got kids or animals um, I don't know about you but the amount of times I forget to put the guard back on and just leave it on my cutting table but accidentally um, the phone rings or you go and iron a piece or, or you know whatever distracts you and then you've got a very very sharp exposed blade so it's brilliant that that is part a great safety feature and you've got the, the black and gold and this handle's really soft um, it's an ergonomic handle um, it is it's got this kind of like plush feel to it as well um, and the spare blades also gold um, and these come in plastic free packaging too so they are great jewelry i didn't bring my laptop for the quest for the questions have we had any questions um, mandy says these are all lovely <gasps> oh thanks mandy i think they too sylvia says hello hi sylvia and so does Amy. Hello, Amy. And then 
Karen is loving the black and gold. It's fab, isn't it, Karen? And Helen said the same. <laughs> and Diana, yeah, loving the black and gold. Loving the black and gold. It's very stylish, isn't it? Right, let's carry on talking through the rest of the range. Um, so there's a, a, a gorgeous little um, sewing box here with a handle and you've got a handy pocket here and somewhere for your pins and needles. You've got a removable little storage tray um, and room for lots of happy bits and pieces. These we've popped um, extra bits of the hemline gold range. I want to talk to you specifically about the now I shouldn't call them wonder clips because they're not wonder clips because they're not clover but they are quilting clips now um, I'm sure lots of you will be um, familiar with these little tiny clips now when I saw these a they're black and gold so <laughs> I, I kind of wanted the new colors but they're a great price now we've written down here the quilters clips now normally um, the branded clover um, wonder clips you get 10 clips for seven pound 25 now hemline have knocked it out of the park um, these are coming in at you get 30 clips and you get um they're for, for 30 it's seven pound 45 so for 20p more you're actually getting 20 extra clips so it's a great price and i just wanted to show you we did this in our little run through beforehand um a little thing you probably might not know about these clips now on the back there's two little marks now, you might think they're a manufacturing mark but actually that furthest mark which hopefully you can see there is actually a quarter of an inch so as you use these in your quilt project you can line up that quarter inch uh, marking with pretend this is fabric and not a rotary uh, not a cutting mat but you can um, and the different the, the distance between the edge of the mat and the and the edge of your clip is quarter inch that's really handy when you're doing quilts and, and place mats or whatever else so they are yeah the quil hemline quilting clips there are a couple of thimbles, again, plastic free packaging, and that they come in two sizes. I don't really use thimbles because I don't really like hand sewing, um, but I know plenty, I'm probably in the minority there. Um, fab, tape measure. Um, I thought this would be great because it's gonna fit in your travel bag or your handbag and not get scrumpled up. You've obviously got inches and centimeters and you just squeeze the middle and it, and it um, retracts the, the tape. And that's one and a half meters long. I don't quite know why I'm loving this tape measure so much, but I am. Um, I think it's because it's extra wide. So it's great to be able to see on, again, it's one meter 50, and on one side you have got the um, uh, metric marks, and then on the other side you've got inches. And it's just, it's, it's really nice and sturdy. It's a great little tape measure, that. And the last thing in my box here is a, tr which is a travel sewing kit. So this is for your, your UK holidays this year, or um, if you like to keep a sewing kit with you in your handbag, this would be great for that. Um, it's gonna keep everything nice and tidy and it looks very pretty. Um, so you've got 11 different colors of thread. You've got some emergency buttons, some press studs, a needle threader, some pins, a stitch on picker, the cutest little pot for needles. They are in there, if you can see those. Um, some diddy little scissors and a little mini tape measure. So that is very cute. And then the last bits, I think we've covered everything. We're on the last bit here. So these little glass jars are great. So we've got some safety pins in them. We've also got some, some pins in there. Now, if you choose to put your pin, I'm gonna tell you a story about this tomato pincushion in a moment. Um, but if you pop your pins in your pincushion, these are a great little diddy um, jar to have afterwards. Um, which, I don't know, I'm just a child, I think. I like the sounds. <laughs> um, and yeah, so you can keep your buttons, or your other bits and pieces and knickknacks in there. And you also got, these are the, the, the loveliest, I think, again, a little glass jar full of needles um, in there, which, you know, I would definitely keep them in there. And um, again, great for your handbag if you, if you wanted to keep them handy. So let's talk about the pincushion. We had a lot of discussion about why it was shaped like a tomato and why pincushions are shaped like a tomato. So we, so we had a little look on the internet and it's actually a thing, there's a reason. It dates back to Victorian times. Um, every day's a school day here. And um, where's my bit of paper? So in the Victorian e era, they used to put tomatoes, like actual tomatoes apparently, um, onto their mantelpiece to warn off, e warn off e evil spirits and to bring good luck into the home. 
Now, obviously tomatoes, especially back then, were not quite as freely available as they are at Tesco's these days. Um, so uh, ladies of the time, instead of having fresh tomatoes when they were out of season, they used to make tomatoes out of little bits of, of fabric and then they evolved into becoming pin cushions. Um, and yes, the strawberry that's attached, traditionally um, it will be filled with sand to sharpen, but in this case it's, it's uh, got stuffing which we thought would be great for keeping your needles separate from your pins. Because I don't know about you, I tend to put my needles in the pin cushion and then I can't find them. So <laughs> that's a great little, a great little addition there. Um, we've got a bobbin box that holds 20, about 20, was it 25, 25 millimetre bobbins, it fits most cases and I'm just checking my list, how many bobbins does it have in it, Do, yes it does hold 24, um, it's got um, super strong hinges and we've got the a confident click there that we know that it is um, uh, safely secure so if you do drop it on the floor or whatever your bobbins are not gonna gonna fall all over the floor and how you have lots and lots of thread all over the place and this this I'm gonna say is probably my favorite this is actually a magnetic pin dish now I've got one of the magnetic pin dishes from hemline um, the original ones but this is a bit of an upgrade I love the dish it's got a really strong magnet at the, at the bottom now if I just show you how many people drop their pins I drop them a lot so if I were just to knock it off the side and have a little pin accident you can just take your pin dish and you can swoop it up and they go back in that's rather fantastic so um have we got any any more questions no questions no Sue questions. said it was a great price for the clips and a great tip oh thank you very much you are very welcome um, yeah, so that, that's the lovely headline range. Um, if you want a link to it, then just say me please in the comments and we'll, we'll, we will bring that back to you. Um, we've got one more live this week. Um, on Friday, I'm gonna be talking all about bamboo fabric. Um, and we are, because we stock quite a different, um, quite, quite a wide range of different bamboo fabrics. And we're gonna be publishing this tutorial, which um, in line with Eco Week, we've done um, these are little washable, reusable makeup bags. So if you, um, makeup bags, makeup pads. So you can ditch the single use cotton wool if, um, if you're moving towards a more zero waste lifestyle. Um, so there's instructions on how to handle this bamboo velour because it can be a little slippery, a little sucker. Um, and we can make these pretty pads. And there's also going to be a video of how to make this little bag, which is, um, a wet bag you know, it's lined with waterproof lining on the middle and but it's also got this pocket which you can keep your clean pads in and then when you use them take off your makeup you can pop your pad inside inside there it's got the waterproof lining and zip it up and then when you are ready to wash you just literally open the top of your bag pop the whole thing in the washing machine and all of that comes out and then um, you just need to to dry them and they're ready to use again all right, well, thank you very much for your time this morning. Um, and any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you on Friday. Bye.